Welcome to Land the House. I'm Seth. This is a ram pump. It's a water pump that does not need fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing, falling water. Typically, you would install one of these into a creek such as the one I've got behind me here. A question that I am often asked is, can I use a drive pipe to run my pump that does not match the pump size? So for instance, this is a three quarter inch ram pump. Could I use a half inch drive pipe or step it up to maybe a one inch drive pipe and run the pump? Now people ask this because oftentimes they already have a bunch of that size pipe and they wanna be able to use a different pump with the pipe they've already got. So the short answer is sometimes you can. The long answer is it depends upon the input head pressure and the lift out. So today let's go ahead and hook up this ram pump we're gonna test it with the normal three quarter inch size, the half inch and the one inch and see what happens. I have the three quarter inch ram pump installed with a three quarter inch drive pipe. It's got approximately three feet of head pressure or water drop. And then I've got a delivery pipe, which is just a garden hose going up to about uh, 10 feet or so above this point right here. I'm gonna run the pump and use a measuring cup to see how much water we get in one minute. And then I will swap over to the half inch drive pipe and lastly, the one inch drive pipe. All three of these are gonna be 20 foot long and they will have the same head pressure. And so we will see, first of all, if the pump even operates. And second of all, how much water we get at the top in one minute with the different sizes that I've got. So, all right, let me get that measuring cup and we will uh, begin measuring this at the top. I'm gonna to open the drive pipe and the pump will start. Let's head up the hill and get our measurements. I have no idea where my measuring cup has gone to. I'm gonna use this glass with a Sharpie here and we'll get some results. So I'm gonna pick this up and then start my timer and move this over. Set for one minute. That's a much better flow rate than I was anticipating. Maybe we'll just do 30 seconds. All right, so 30 seconds has got our water level all the way up to this brim right here. Let's go swap down to the half inch pipe. I have swapped over to the half inch drive pipe for a three quarter inch pump. Now, I think in this case, it's going to run just fine, but a lot of times what happens is there is not enough drop for the amount of lift you're trying to achieve, and it takes more water than you have to activate this valve, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and turn this on and see if it's going to cycle. All right, I believe it's taking more water because it has to uh, uh, push more out before it closes the valve, but let's go test the output. I'm curious to see the results of this. I have a feeling the pressure wave is weaker and so we're not gonna have as much water, but we're about to find out, huh? All right, I'm gonna get this up here, start the timer. We'll do 30 seconds just like before. All right, the results are in. We have exactly half of this jar before we had it all the way up here. So yes, significant difference in the output. So that's good to see that the uh, matching drive pipe is the way to go. All right, let's swap over to the one inch pipe and see what happens. I've now swapped the drive pipe to the one inch, which should be too big for this. The valve will either stay closed all the time or cycle, but we'll see what happens. Make sure all the air is out of there. All right, it's cycling very fast. So I wonder if the pressure wave's not making it all the way up. Turn this on. Okay, it stopped, that's not a good sign. All 
Okay, what I'm gonna do is take the delivery pipe further uphill and see if that's the problem. I pulled the delivery pipe up the hill about two more feet. That's all the hose I had, but it still doesn't seem to be running consistently. I'm gonna go stick the jar at the delivery and be down here and let it run for 30 seconds and see what we get up top. But this is what I expected with the bigger drive pipe for the valve to stay closed all the time. I went up the hill, placed the delivery pipe in that jar. I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer for 30 seconds and we'll see what we get. As I run this test, keep in mind that I have four different sizes of the ram pump available. I'll have links in the description down below. All right, here we go. All right, there you go, 30 seconds. Let's go check our jar. Okay, the results are in. Looks like with the one inch, we were just slightly less than the three quarter inch drive pipe, uh, probably because I had to start it so many times. Otherwise it would have made it to the top like the other one did. So very cool. All right, well, basically it's better to have a three quarter inch drive pipe on a three quarter inch pump. Well, there you have it. Is it possible to run a ram pump on a mismatched drive pipe? Yes and no. So as we saw with the half inch pipe, it did run, but it gave about half of the output at the top. Now, if I were to bring this pump further down the hill and increase the head pressure, we may actually get more volume at the top. But uh, at that point, why not just use the three quarter inch and get more water without having to uh, increase the head pressure down the hill. Now with the one inch pipe being bigger than the three quarter, the valve was trying to cycle very fast and it also stops quite frequently. If I were to reduce the head pressure, it may have worked or taken my delivery way up the hill, but there's gonna be still issues where the cycle is too fast, the pressure wave doesn't operate as it should, and it's going to stop the pump at random times and be quite annoying. So there is one thing you can do though, if you've got a bigger pipe that you want to use, put that in the creek, it becomes a supply pipe, and then you bring it to either a stand pipe, which is a pipe that sticks up, or a bucket, and from there you use uh, the head pressure from that point on as your drive pipe and you match your pipe size. So just an option if you do want to use extra big pipe that you have laying around. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Seth with Landa House, and I will see you in the next video.